something to do. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. From ABC News, this is Primetime Thursday. With old medalist, Playboy cover girl. It turns out that during the Cold War, the East German secret police spied on her shamelessly, bugging her home, reading her mail, and tracking her love life as it unfolded. Well, now, some journalists are dying to get their hands on her dossier. She's trying to block it from happening, claiming it would be yet another assault on her privacy. But does she have another motive for keeping her files sealed? Elizabeth Vargas brings us a story of sex, lies, and secret tapes. Her remarkable victories, six European skating titles, five world championships, and two Olympic gold medals made Katerina Witt an international star. She was also smart, well-spoken, and gorgeous. short, a hugely successful advertisement for East German Socialism. When Katerina skated out onto the ice, the world watched her every move. But behind the curtain, her government was watching even more closely. Were you aware while you were competing that the East German secret police, the Stasi, mm. We're keeping tabs on you. No, I had no idea, honestly. I really had no idea. Once one of the most ruthless and powerful secret police forces in the world, the Stasi was the iron fist of the East German dictatorship. Its mission was not just to keep enemies out, but to also make sure its most valuable assets stayed in, including world-class athletes like Katerina. They wanted to make sure that I always come home. So that you wouldn't that defect. I would not defect. But how they tried to make sure of that remained a closely guarded secret until all the secrets came tumbling down. When the Berlin Wall came down in 1989, the veil of secrecy opened up on the Stasi and the files they had been compiling for over 40 years, including 27 boxes marked with the name of the motherland's favorite daughter, Katerina Witt. I got them right away. And it was the first time I was confronted with um, what they have done, basically, that they have watched me since I was... My first file starts when I'm seven years old. What was it like to open up those files and to read this? I would go through all the different emotions where you're just absolutely upset and you're furious, and then time, what time was I was laughing. I thought, I cannot believe what, what, what I can see and what I can read. But in a lot of ways, of course, I was just completely in shock how far they even would go. How far did they go? We've heard rumors, but you've read it. How far did they go? It's not that there are videotapes of me existing, any kind of sex videos, which I've been reading lately. You know, I haven't seen those. But... Um, Definitely, it went up in, into the bedroom. Keep in mind, the files cover 17 years of her life. Katerina says they read like a personal diary and include photos and audio tapes of personal and intimate conversations. They say that I was under the highest control, which means bugging the phone and bugging your apartment and having people um, looking after you and following you. I gotta be honest, if I read a file about me from the time that I was seven years old on, there's a lot of stuff in there that I'd be mortified mm -hmm. and very mm -hmm. embarrassed mm -hmm. to oh, read. Oh, embarrassed. <laughs> I would yeah. be embarrassed. You know, you read some of the stuff and you just go, oh my God. <laughs> my only excuse is that I was young. <laughs> was there ever a moment when you weren't being observed? Uh, yeah, probably when I slept. <laughs> As she read through the 3,500 pages, oh, Katerina realized it was not just anonymous Stasi agents sneaking around her personal life. The betrayal was much closer to home. You know, when you do see in a movie a black car or somebody stands there in a black coat, leather coat, so you know you were followed, it wasn't like this at all. You know, nothing at all. Um, it could be a friend at the next table who was spying well, on Well, it was... Basically, yes, people I have spent time with on the ice and off the ice. And I know who those people are. 
You have no anger or bitterness toward them. No, I don't. I really, I have no anger. I have no bitterness. And honestly, I just felt like, you know, it's, it's past. It's done. Ironically, the collapse of East Germany into a unified democracy has led to a new and perhaps even more embarrassing threat to Katerina's privacy. The once secret files are now at risk of becoming very public. You know, I feel betrayed from both sides. Katerina has asked a German court to seal her Stasi files forever. The agency in charge of the files has agreed to consider blacking out the most personal details. But the battle over the files has brought forth the same accusations made against Katerina when the Berlin Wall first came down. Accusations that have lingered for years. That she has something more than her personal life to hide. There have been rumors for years that you were, in fact, spying for the Stasi. <laughs> why not open the files? Uh, open the files and settle it once and for all. Prove yeah, but why? That. Why? Tell me why. You know, why do I always have to sit here now? with my back against the wall, explaining myself, explaining my past. I, I give my soul on the ice. But there are some things where I feel, you know, I need to protect myself too. You know, I need to protect some pieces of my life. You understand that some critics will say she won't open these because she has something to hide. No. <laughs> and if there's something to hide, then it's really private things. Then those are things which have something to do <sighs> ay, 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 ay. Oh God, I'm sorry. It's okay. It's the fact that those files are not just on me, you know, there are informations about my parents, about friends. <laughs> It's obviously a violation, not just of it you, is. but of the people it close is. to you. And it's something, you know, I just don't want to confront it anymore. I mean, I haven't done anything wrong. That's the whole point. Katerina's life today, touring the United States in ice shows, could not be more different from those years behind the Iron Curtain. But she says the memories of those years and the details in those files are hers alone and should remain her secret to keep. I definitely don't want strangers to just go through it and decide for themselves, oh, this could be interesting or that could be not interesting. I just do not want somebody going through those pages and, and reading about it and read what happened when I was a teenager, what things were going on. I just don't want it. A German court could decide sometime this summer whether Katerina Witt's files should remain secret.